Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's October 1st. So it is time for a new Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. Before we hop into that, I will try to make this video short and sweet. I am doing much, much better. Brian is doing much better. He has tested negative, so that is awesome. I haven't tested myself yet, but I don't know. Um, I feel much, much better. I still have head stuff going on and I get very tired very easily. So we're just, you know, one step at a time, one day at a time, and we'll get through it. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. What is the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight? Well, it is an event each month. We pick a creator and we make items based on their patterns or tutorials. You can share things you make this month or you can share things that you've made in the past. It doesn't matter to me as long as you can get me a picture. That's all that matters. Um, so the creator this month is Tamara Kelly from Moogly. And she has a YouTube channel and she also has a website. You are welcome to make things from either place. You just have to let me know what you made. That's all I ask. Um, so please share pics. Uh, okay, so you can share the pictures in one of three ways. I'm just trying to remember the highlights from my phone. Um, so first, you can go to my Facebook group. Um, I have a post there. It's already up where you can reply and put your pictures on there. Second, you can use Instagram. The hashtag is going to be KKCS Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight 1023, October 2023. That's our hashtag this month. Um, if you don't use either Facebook or Instagram, you can email me your pictures at craftingkitty at gmail.com. All of that is going to be in the description box. I know this voice does not help things be understood. Um, at the end, there is a giveaway component. The, there will be at least one winner. The number of additional winners is based on the number of entries we have. So it's normally two to three winners, which is awesome. I would love to give away five, ten. That would be super cool. <laughs> I don't know. I think if we reached that level, I, I don't know. I might need help. It might be too big for me, but we won't know until we try right um so just a couple of notes um oh it is open worldwide void where prohibited we'll get into all the specific giveaway rules at the end um so a couple of notes if the name you use on whatever platform you submit to me is different than what you use on youtube please let me know what you would like to be referred to as on youtube um, I make a slideshow and I put names on the slides. I am happy. I am more than happy to use channel names if you're a content creator. Please, I don't always in the moment. I've, I'm a mom. I've got COVID. <laughs> My brain isn't firing at all cylinders. So please, I might not immediately realize, hey, this is Mel. That's Lithalia's little hook. You know, <laughs> um, so if you could just comment your channel name, that would be very, very helpful to me. I, I don't want anything to slide through the cracks. Um, any, with any of the ways, wait, what am I saying here? Okay. So when you send me your picture, <laughs> you need to tell me which pattern or tutorial you followed. Any additional information is awesome, but not necessary. Um, like what yarn you used, what hook you used. I mean, sometimes when you post the picture in the Facebook group, people will be like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. What yarn did you use? So I'll probably ask, <laughs> but it's up to you. Sometimes I don't know. Maybe you came from mystery box. You don't know. doesn't matter. Um, I also totally, totally understand that sometimes patterns need to be changed. Maybe you're not vibing with the join in a, in a granny project. Maybe it, it's a top and you have to change the sizing. That's totally cool. Don't worry about it. Just let me know what pattern tutorial, what idea got you going. And then, then you're good to go. Um, if you could let me know what changes you made, that's super cool. Cause sometimes that comes up and it, you know, sparks creativity in others and they might take it a step further or they might see what you've made and say, Oh, that's awesome. I want to do that too. So it's, this is all just about sharing creativity and celebrating the creators that give us these awesome patterns and tutorials to go forth and create with. Um, okay. So to address time and project completion concerns, I know not everybody is the quickest at crafting. I am, I am a very, very slow knitter at times. 
some things I can whip up fast. Some things I have a decade sweater. I've told the story before. It took me 10 years to knit my father a sweater. He now has the sweater, but <laughs> it took a decade. <laughs> um, so works in progress are allowed. The only thing I ask is you stay in the spirit of the event. Everyone has stayed in the spirit. I've never had anybody who was like, who tried to slip anything past, in my opinion. Um, so the idea is you start working on something, gets near the end of the month, and you're like, oh, I'm not going to finish this. Send me a picture. You're probably good. You know, as long as you're not like, I'm making a king size blanket. Here is a starting chain of 50. Eh, <laughs> maybe you're making a blanket. But I mean, you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> um, and no one has ever done anything. Like if you're wanting to make a, a granny square blanket and you finished a couple of squares and you're like, yeah, this is what I've done. That's cool. I, I totally accept that that is fine um also you um i make the slideshow but if you don't want your picture shared that is totally cool i do sometimes have people say please don't share my pictures that's fine you just have to note in your email or in your facebook post or wherever that i can't share the picture i will assume if you don't say anything that i can use it so my assumption is that you want it to be shared publicly, but if you don't, just say please don't share it and I won't share it, but you will still be included in the giveaway. That is not a problem. You can post as many pictures or projects as you want. You can send me one picture that has three projects in it. That's cool. I will count the projects in it. That is not a problem. Um, but I'm going to limit to three entries in the giveaway. So. You know, you might see somebody in the slideshow that has like five projects. They got three entries. Um, I go through and I check. <laughs> you know, we have multiple Lindas sometimes. <laughs> like, okay, I, I wrote Linda a couple of times. Where, where, where is she? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what's going on? Okay, so I use a random method of selection at the end. We don't judge. It's just random method. I have a... Uh, it's not in here anymore. Brian handed it to me. It's in our bedroom. A legal pad. When someone submits something to me, I write down their name. They get a number next to it. At the end of the month, we take a device. It's normally my iPad or a phone. Pick up a random number generator. Ask for numbers between 1 and 72. And it spits out a number. Whosever number that is, they have one. Um, we do... So you're allowed three entries but limit to one win per spotlight. So it, your name could get drawn twice. It, it really just means you have two bites at the apple or three bites at the apple. Um, if I draw a name twice, I will pick a new winner. Just, just to spread the love a little bit more. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and if you want to hang on to the end of the video, I do again to give people who might need more time a bit of an advantage or a bit of a leg up on the the next month coming at the very end i will announce who our november creator will be but right now we're going to talk about the giveaway rules okay so the giveaway is open worldwide void where prohibited the winner is responsible for any duties taxes fees anything that is involved in the shipment we will pay to ship it everything else is on you guys um please be a subscriber to the channel and please share out if you can i would love for this event to grow in order to enter, you have to post a picture in any of the ways I described above, my Facebook group, Instagram, or email, anything received any other way. I I, I won't count because I got I to gotta know where to look so I can find it. Um, giveaway is not associated with YouTube or any other company in any way. It's just me and Brian wanting to celebrate and have some fun and you know just support the whole Yarny Crafty community here on YouTube. Um, winners have to satisfy all requirements for entering giveaways in their jurisdiction. YouTube requires that you be 18 years of age or older. The winners have 14 days to contact me after the drawing, so you have to contact me by November 14th in this case. I will post a video announcing the winners, or Brian will be in the video <laughs> announcing the winners. Someone on this channel will have a video and say, You have won! You have won! You have won! If you see anyone in the comments saying you're on a short list, it's not true. There is a list. It's my legal pad. And we don't know who won until I draw it or Brian draws it with a random number and we put two and two together. <laughs> Protect yourself. Ignore the spammer scammers. They suck. I don't like them. 
Um, I don't like anyone who takes advantage of another person. Just let us have our fun, people. Please, just let us have our fun. That's all we want to do is make things and make the world prettier and happier. What is wrong with that? I don't understand. Um, we are a pet-friendly home, but smoke-free. We have two dogs and a cat. Um, everything's pretty much kept in this room, of course, until I go to send it, and then it has to go down to the printer where I print the label, pack it up, and then it goes out. So, um... <clears throat> It is unlikely to be in direct contact with any animals, especially the cat. She has her territory. Um, the dogs, they're dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, just in case you have a severe allergy, I just want you to be aware. I'm not trying to give anyone anaphylaxis or anything like that. Um, there you go. Okay, so I think that's all of the main points. If you are interested in hearing the November Creator, please hang on if you are not. Have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see what you create. Um, but if you would like to know, please hold on in... Oh, I've lost where I wrote her down. <laughs> oh, have I given anything away? I hope not too much. Okay, so in five, four, three, two... One, I am announcing the November 2023 creator we will be spotlighting is going to be Jada in Stitches. So if you would like to, to start creating any of her creations for November, totally awesome. I know November, December, they get hairy for us crafters. I totally understand. Um, please wait until November, though, to submit any of your creations because I don't want to confuse things. So... It, it really helps me if I just get October and October and November and November. That's all I ask. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.